Hey what's up guys, Chiggs here from Chiggs Tech Reviews and today I've got my hands on another brand new Android TV box so stay tuned for the review. So this is the UGOS UT6 Android TV box. So as usual, we are going to be doing a quick unboxing followed by a few tests, video tests, full HD and 4K videos, a few Android games, testing Kodi performance, and then finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi tests. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So the CPU in this box is the RK3229 quad core running at 1.5 gigahertz the gpu is a mali 400 you have 2 gigabytes of ddr3 ram 16 gigabytes of internal storage dual band wi-fi supporting 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bgn you've got bluetooth version 4 android version 6 marshmallow and this supports ultra hd 4k videos at 60 frames per second so let's get the box open and see what it looks like So this is everything you get in the box. So we begin with the instruction manual. Okay, nice. You've got a USB cable here, HDMI cable, a power adapter, a Wi-Fi antenna, and the remote control. Last but not least, the UT6 itself. You've got a complete matte finish at the top. You've got the logo here at the front, UGOS. If we have a look at the ports, you've got an AV port there, you've got the recovery pin there, that's to reset. If something goes wrong, you're about to put a pin in and uh, that will help you get to recovery mode. You've got a memory card slot there, an OTG USB port, a standard USB port. If we go on to the side, you've got a network LAN port, a further two USB ports, a HDMI, an optical port and the actual charger port. And finally, if we go on the back of the unit, you've got the Wi-Fi antenna screw and a power button, physical power button. You've got a vent on this side, um, and that's the front of the machine. And at the bottom, this is what it looks like. So it's quite interesting. This model actually comes with four USB ports. One, two, three, four. Okay, plug this in. So you've got a nice looking antenna there, which you can swivel in different directions and that should hopefully give us a very strong Wi-Fi connection. So we'll be testing that out too. So it's quite a compact looking um, device, but to give you guys an idea of its size, let's do a quick comparison. So if I bring in the TX5 Pro, this is one of the smallest uh, boxes out there, um, quite compact. Let's compare it to the UT6. So if I place it on top, align it, you'll see that the UT6 is slightly bigger all the way around. Yeah, so the UT6 is definitely slightly bigger, not by much though. Okay, so I hope that helps give you guys an idea um, of the size. Okay, so I'm going to hook this up to the TV now and give you guys a full demonstration um, of what this can do. So this is the home screen for the UGOS UT6. So if I give you a quick tour, on the first page you've got a category called Internet and course you'll have all your internet applications in here the play store gmail browser etc um, the next category says IPTV and you've got a music icon then you've got a media category um, other the next one is all apps all the apps on the system will show here okay you got a separate game section but there aren't any games installed yet so that's why that's blank you got tools settings and then you've got the options right at the end. So these options allow you to customize this home screen. So you can change the number of rows, columns. You can turn a screensaver on and off. You can change the theme color. So if I was to click that, you can see that the color changes immediately. You can actually customize the theme to suit you better, um, like I just did, just to show you guys. Another cool feature about this Android TV box is you have two home screens um, built in. So if I go to settings, go to home, you'll see that you've got the UGOS launcher, the one, one I just showed you, and you've got launcher three. So if I click there 
and then click on home this is the other launcher so this is the alternative launcher it's just the full android 6 marshmallow experience this is the app drawer and you've got all your apps here okay so if you actually didn't like these two home screens um, what what i would recommend is go to the play store and look up tv launcher spell exactly like that in front of you tv one word launcher okay this is the app you need click install and whatever android tv box you got out there if you're not too happy with the launcher um, this is the alternative um, and it is a great alternative uh, this is what it looks like i'm going to customize this a little bit it's very easy to customize and then i'll come back to you so i spent a few minutes customizing this home screen and now you can see it looks absolutely awesome so these are all my favorite apps here installed on the first page the second page i've got my media so you've got music video and downloads and web browser um, third page is the games I've gone ahead and installed some games that we're going to be testing um, and then finally we've got system settings utilities you've got calculator shortcut to wi-fi and shortcut to bluetooth settings so as you can see this home screen works really well very easy to customize very easy to remove an app or uninstall an app and in the far corner on the right next to the time you've got the app drawer which opens very conveniently in a side box you can go down and you can browse all the apps that are on the box so all the apps you see on the box at the moment are all my favorite apps that i've installed the standard apps you get on an android tv box are basically browser calculator google chrome um, the downloads um, you get a file manager gmail you know and that's about it um, everything else um, I had to install myself. As usual, I've tested out my favorite keyboard on this box and it works absolutely great. So this is my favorite wireless mini keyboard. It works on all the Android TV boxes and gives you just a, it gives you a much better user experience. So I highly recommend it. So you've got a very nice trackpad here, very responsive, multimedia buttons, shortcuts, navigational and a full QWERTY keyboard. You'll find the links to this keyboard in the description. When I begin my game test, I'm going to be using this controller. This again is my favorite Bluetooth gaming controller. This is the G600. Um, it's very responsive. It's near identical to the Xbox 360 controller. It feels the same. Um, it looks the same, even weighs the same. This is what I'm going to be using for my gaming test. I'll put the links to this in the description as well in case you want to check it out. So I've got my USB stick here filled with loads of 4K and HD movie samples. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to test out how 4K videos will play on this box. Okay, so I just plugged in my USB stick. I'm going to go to media section. I'm going to open up MX Player. I find MX Player the best. It handles all the formats. Um, you know, if you use any other media player, sometimes an MKV or some certain video files won't work because of Kodak issues. But if you download the MX Player from the Google Play Store, it's probably the best all-round media player to use. Um, it's as good as VLC Player. I think it's better than VLC Player. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to test out a few 4K samples and we're going to see how this box handles it. So let's play the first clip on the list. So as you saw that clip played very well, it looked awesome. Let's play the next clip on the list. So you can see it handles 4K clips very well. Let's play one more now. Um, this is a Samsung Ultra HD sample. I'm just going to forward it a bit. Let's finish off these video samples with a full HD trailer. Yeah, so it handles all the video files actually really well. The 4K clips um, played very well. There wasn't any stuttering, um, no buffering. It just plays smooth 4K video without any trouble at all. So yeah, the USB test went well. Let's try something else. So next thing I like to test is streaming video. So let's start with Kodi. 
All right, so as you can see, this comes with Kodi 17. I just installed a few things on here just to give you guys a quick test. Um, let's try something. Let's try HD trailers. So let's play Queen of the Desert. The deeper we immerse ourselves into the desert, the more everything seems like a dream. So as you guys just saw, the video was smooth. Um, it was very quick. That trailer played very well. Let's try the travel channel. So I skipped it a bit. Salmon takes years of practice and generations of wisdom. The Aqua people are salmon clan people. But for me, it's a lifestyle. I found that happy place. So I'm pretty blessed being. So that was a 720p HD video, and you saw that streamed instantly and very well. So there you go guys, the Kodi performance is really good. It plays full HD and 720p videos, uh, smooth and fast. So let's come out of this and try something else. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to try out is BBC iPlayer. Okay, so let's load something up. So BBC iPlayer works great. Let's finish off with some YouTube. So let's try a trailer or something on YouTube. Hi, I'm Danny Rand. I've uh, been away a long time. Let's go, you okay, don't belong wait. here. I, I'm Danny Rand. Guys, I just want to talk. So that was a full HD stream from YouTube. So this box has so far been quite impressive in HD streaming. Um, the streams have been very clear without buffering um, and have played very well. So far so good. Let's move on now to the next tests. I like to test out some gaming. Let's begin with Real Racing 3. Okay, so that was Real Racing 3. Let's move on to another game. Uh, let's try Jurassic World. Okay, so I've just loaded up Jurassic World. It's going to try this game out and see how it plays. So that was Jurassic World. Let's move on. Let's try another game. Uh, the next one I'm going to test out is Does Not Commute. So I'm just beginning this game. Does Not Commute. And I'm also playing this game with the G600 controller. And it does make things a lot easier. So let's try another game. The next one is going to be Crossy Road. This is actually one of my favorite games on Android TV Box. Okay, so the next game I'm testing is Bomber Friends. So let's play single player. You can play multiplayer and it does work very well. But just to give you guys a demo, I'm going to be playing single player. So that was my gaming test. The next thing I'd like to test on this box is webcam. I'm going to try and attach my USB webcam. It's got a built-in mic on here, so you, so technically um, you can install Skype and you'll be able to do Skype video chat. So I want to plug this in and see if it works on this box. Okay, so it's plugged in and the light's turned on. All we need to do now is to see if it works is open the camera app. If I go to all apps, scroll down, and there's camera right there. Okay, and let's open the camera app. Okay, yes, it works. So I didn't have to configure anything. It immediately picked up my camera and, I, and you can see the full screen right now. Um, I can take photos and videos with this webcam and um, I'll be able to install Skype and do video chat. So that's pretty awesome. Let's come out of this. Okay, beginning Wi-Fi test now. So 
Though you have the results of the Wi-Fi test, you're getting 32 megabytes download speeds and five megabytes upload speeds. I am on a 40 megabyte broadband connection. So let's finish off with an Antutu benchmark test. So there you have it guys, the UT6 has an overall score of 24,673. Um, if you see on the left it says 3D score 706. Everything else has scored reasonably well. Um, you got 4,000 for the RAM, 9,000 for the CPU, 10,000 for the UX. Um, 3D has only scored 700. So yeah, we've got an overall score of 24,673. It is what it is guys. So let's compare the UT6 to the other boxes I've reviewed. So this is my top benchmark performance chart. Every time I review an Android TV box, I will update this list. The Yugos UT6 is in position 11. So it will be very interesting to see which Android TV box I review next and what overall score it will get. So stay tuned for that. So there you have it guys. That was the Yugos UT6 Android TV box. So as you guys saw, the, the box does perform very well when you're streaming video or watching 4K video. Okay, what lets the box down is 3D gaming. As you saw in the benchmark score, the 3D score was considerably low. Um, that's got more to do with um, having just a, a Mali 400 as the GPU. Um, whilst you can play games, um, I wouldn't expect to play 3D games in full quality. It will be laggy. If you play the basic TV games, and I showed you a few of them, if you play some of the basic games like Crossy Road, Bomberman, Badland, it will play fine. Um, there will be no lag whatsoever. It will play good. But if you try and play any 3D games, then you will experience lag, um, and the game won't look as good quality as um, you would expect. So to summarize it, um, I would say this is a very good Android TV box for streaming video um, and playing your movies. Um, so as a media player and a media streamer, it excels, it's very good. But as a gaming console, um, I would only use this for basic games. So what I'll do is I'll put the links in the description so you guys can check this item out. I will also include the links for the keyboard um, and, G and the G600 wireless controller. So you'll find all the useful links in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification button, and as soon as I make a video live, you'll be alerted first. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day.